Hi guys, uh, this is Leanne here from WoW Gold Helper. In today's video, we're going to talk about jewel crafters and the fact that they can make a decent amount of gold from uh, selling gems that they prospect. Um, the gems that you see in my bag here, I no longer need these gems for my jewel crafting, so I'm going to sell them. They've just been sitting, kind of collecting, uh, as well. Some of the gems have actually come from mining, because sometimes when you mine, a gem will come with uh, your ore, so some came that way too. Now, I actually started doing this video of over 10 minutes ago, and I had a big error coming up telling me that I had to stop the video, because I'm only allowed to record 10 minutes at a time. Um, I'm using Bandicam, which is a free version, so since that is free, I have to start this video again, and unfortunately, um, a bunch of the video now is basically going to be missed of me putting up auctions, so um, up here you're going to notice some rings, sesty clam, clam meat, and uh, star ruby, just ignore those auctions, they're from a day ago, we want to pay attention to these auctions below, the Melkonite to the large opal. So, what you're going to notice here is I got some low-level stuff, uh, low-level gems up that I'm selling. And the reason why I chose these prices was because Melkonite, there wasn't a stack of 20 of these. Citroen was selling for like 130 gold a stack, and the Shadow Gems were selling for... I think it was roughly 40 gold a stack. So, I've redone these, and I know undercutting is a bad thing. I realize that, but everybody undercuts as a way to sell your item, and I don't need these, so I want to get rid of them, so I hope that somebody's going to buy them. Now, if they don't, they'll just be my money wasted putting up the auction. That's all fine and well, but we'll see what happens. Now, I've also put in high-level gems, uh, huge emeralds. I've put them in for 12 gold buyout, uh, blue sapphire, 6 gold, 50 silver buyout, large opal, 8 gold buyout. Now, these items... I don't know how well they're going to sell, but I have put them up before and had them sell, but never in this amount. So this is actually a lot for me to uh, be placing up for sale. Now you're probably think if you're not sure, you are maybe wondering who buys these gems. Aside from jewel crafters needing them to uh, craft items, you can also put them up because people crafting recipes will need them too. I've pretty sure there's blacksmithing recipes, um, I think there is possibly some leatherworking, I'm not sure, engineering, and maybe even tailoring that might require items like this on occasion. Now, whether the need is there or not, I'm not sure how needy actually is, but for people who can't mine, this is where they're going to turn, because they kind of have no choice but to uh, turn to the auction house if they want this item to craft something. So... Basically, what I've done here is, uh, like I said, the last video got cut off because it was too long. I uh, started putting up the auctions. My auctions always go in for 48 hours, and the reason why I do 48 hours is just because that gives it a long time frame to sit there. Now, the bad thing about it being there for that long and depositing that money to put up the auction is uh, the fact that if no one buys them, I will have wasted some money putting them up there. However, this is an experiment, so we can't really think of gold at this point and what I'm wasting. We have to think of, um, is the jewel crafting basically a really a high thing in demand, the low-level gems? Now, I know the higher-level uh, materials probably maybe even sell a bit more, but we're trying low-level because that's all she can prospect to uh, see how they sell. I do have some more stuff here that I could sell, so I'm just going to check a couple more things and see what they're selling for. Arcane Crystal. 4 gold, 70 silver buyout. Now, I'm not willing to sell that for that. Same as the uh, Astrothian Diamonds. They were in for very cheap. These, to me, should be sold for more than that, just because uh, they come from high, higher level ores, which I'm pretty sure I got these from Thorium ores, which buying those directly from the auction house is very expensive. Farming them isn't time consuming necessarily, but uh, can be a pain if there's competition in your area for farming them. So now we'll try Moss Agate and see what that's selling for. Now, take a look at that. 7 gold for a low level item. That's not that bad, so we are going to sell that for 7 uh, gold. Well, it's going to be less than 7 gold, but what I have to do here is just uh, 
get these split up. They're being sold individually. As well, uh, I haven't posted videos in a long time, so I might as well talk about that for a minute while I'm uh, doing this. Uh, the reason why I was gone for so long, I took a really long break from WoW. I only have one tune that made it to 85 since my break, and, uh, you know, I've come back to the blog, want to redo the blog, and the blog really is mostly for low-level characters, but it's going to have just a mixed bag of information. Um... Same as the videos. Videos won't be done all the time just because I don't have enough uh, time here by myself to actually do the videos. There's usually somebody here and it's hard to uh, make videos when there's people around you, you know, talking and whatnot. I don't really have a private area to work, so. Anyways, what we're going to sell this for is a uh, starting price of 5 gold out of six I believe yes buy out of seven so these should hopefully sell there's ten of them and we'll put these in all right so those are in so uh, what I'm gonna do here like I probably won't have a video post it for this to see how well any of this sold but what I'll probably do is a blog post about it uh, share pictures if I have to basically but the point of this video is to show that these items are up here and this is to see if these are going to sell within the 48 hours and uh, basically see if it was worthwhile um, I hope you enjoyed my video though on jewel crafters you know and the fact that they can probably make gold too uh, if you have any comments questions or anything you know feel free to post them in the uh, comment section on YouTube here or wherever the video is. But I uh, thank you for watching my video and have a nice day.